right now. Yeah, we have a conversation. We're going to go straight into it. You going to go straight into no, it? No, no. All right, man. So if you're tuning into this podcast, you know, I'll think about it right now. So first of all, I'm down. I'm George, Chris, uh, guest today, Giselle. Um, I, I think we need to start giving this podcast like an official name. Uh, you know, like, like 85. You mean, you mean like this, 85, this, this specific Yeah, show? like, okay. No, no. So 85 Sasha has the coldest podcast, right? I don't know what the business it is. Those are the only two podcasts yeah. I watch. So what what podcasts are we for the people? I guess I just tuning in. Cause I feel like you know, realistically, we don't do enough of introduction. I guess because we're almost assuming that like the people. Who, well, I mean, because the people who watch us already and know Reels, us realistically. Reels. Yes. So I mean, I guess for the new people who tu- are tuning in, um, what is this podcast? This is the most reckless podcast. This is the nicest is podcast. The is most the hood, okay. wise, biblically encouraging reckless podcast you'll ever find i think i agree with that so you said hood wise wisely encouraging biblically? reckless podcast you'll ever find reckless podcast. so we'll go from trying to encourage you to live life to telling you that you don't matter in three seconds Ooh, yeah that's kind of true i kind of agree with that man and george will go from telling you that we respect women to calling every woman blank in three seconds sometimes sometimes <laughs> when they deserve it when they deserve it only when they deserve it though because well, I don't call them bitches. I don't say I don't call them bitches. Um, that's very disrespectful. Only if they deserve it. I said only if they deserve it, cause I think that you know, um, cause it's not, you know, like men act like bitches sometimes too. So it's not like it's only for a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's just a, a term of disrespect. You know, like so I call, when you like, want to disrespect, you make sure you call exactly. Them yeah, like when I want to hurt your feelings a little bit, I'll call you a bitch. But I don't use, I don't do that that often. You get me? That's that's like a every now and then type of thing for me. At least she really know? messed with you, and then you're like, yo, I. Right. Mm-hmm. This got too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you disrespect me too much, it's, yeah, it's going to be a problem. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I might uh, be my well, fly out my I, mouth. I thought you were going to be like, you know what? I, I, I have gender I'll equality. Be, I'll knock her out. I'll knock him out. I don't care who it is. Gender equality. Everybody gets it. Well, listen, I said um, maybe two podcasts ago, I'm like, I can't. I'm not going to be the tough guy, right? I'm not <laughs> knocking nobody out. You know what I'm saying? I'm too small. You know, that's another thing. I've been realizing this lately. I, I'm too small, man. Every time I go places now, I'll be like, kind of looking around, I'll be like, Damn, is it me or are these girls getting taller? I ain't gonna lie. Remember when we were talking about this a while, while back? From that moment, it made me like aware mm-hmm. of how tall some of these girls really are. That's what I, that's what I be saying. I'm like, yo, some of these girls are tall. Like, for real? Like, like uh, I be out in public and I be standing and I'm like, yo, this girl is like eye level to me. Yeah, yeah, Which yeah. Which I'm not tall by any means. Yeah. But like if I'm a, if a girl's my height, she's yeah. tall. For sure. I'm not tough for a dude, but I, I'm tough for a girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if a girl's looking to me eye to eye, I'm like, yo, your mom gave you too much greens. <laughs> like, you gotta stop eating vegetables. All right, so. <laughs> so is, that a, is that a euphemism? Is that what you're I talking know. about? Grandma rebounds? So, because we have a. Put that there for me, please. So, because we have a guest on, y'all know we're gonna be training mics. And uh, before we get to it, I just wanna get the pleasant trees out the way real quick, right? So, I kinda wanna talk about something that happened to me today. Ooh. That was dope. Ooh. So you know, um, about you're having oh, a son, huh? You're having a son. Nah, 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 I'm still a little bit out here in the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still, I'm still good. You we're know still what I'm saying? Love I said, yeah, man. I'm still a virgin, basically, at this yeah, point. I got a bed last Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm, okay, I'm still okay, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know what Tuesday he talking about. To be honest with you, it's every, it's every, last <laughs> every Tuesday is Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been saying that for a little bit. I've been saying that for the last two months. I don't know why. Anyways. So about, I want to say, two weeks ago, um, you know, I came from Europe, the program where Bro, I entered up. I say Europe, and I was like, I saw you here, you damn yeah. liar. Gear up. The program's called Europe. So, you I know. Hear you, I hear you say Europe. You know, um, you know, they hit me up. Well, first off, the story I'm about to tell y'all is, is serious, though, for real. So, give me a minute. I know y'all like to make jokes, but give me, like, give me, like, five minutes of seriousness. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, this is what I want to say. I want to say that, you know, I think it's real when you really, you really do manifest your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for no, no lie. You know, I remember I was telling Chris one day, wasn't seeing the B-show. I'm like, you know what, bro? I feel like God be giving me the things that I want to show me that those are things I don't need. I said some shit, right? Like that, along those lines. It was deep, it was deep. And, you know, the, the point I was trying to get at. I recorded it, actually. Yeah, you did. You put it up on, on IG. I, and yeah, I hope it saved it. If I well, say that, we'll, we'll throw yeah, it in Yeah, it might be in the yeah. And, you know, the, the, the point is that, like, you know, I, from the time that I was probably, like, yo, 17, 18, you know, so I remember just laying in bed thinking about, 
you know, where I wanted to be in life, the things that I wanted, you know, just thinking about them shits. I, I, I've always been like a daydreamer. To this day, I still daydream, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll be at work, I'll take my walks, and I'll just be daydreaming about shit, you know? And I was thinking, I've been thinking for a while, I'm like, man, you know what I really would like to do? Man, I would like to go and uh, just talk in front of kids, in front of, like, you know, a younger group, someone that I could, you know, drop some game on, you know what I'm saying? So, I got the opportunity to do that um, today. That's tight. And you know what the crazy thing is, man? You know, so it's it's a it was a I was part of a panel today, right? Panel of uh five people, so we're all alumni, meaning that we all went through like the program, and you know we diff- different career paths, um, different obviously different a different journey altogether. And man, it was it was very interesting, you know, just sitting across. Um, well, we're all we're all seated, and you know it's like a kind of like a round thing, you know, and all these kids are younger, they're listening and uh they're asking questions, you know what I'm saying, like. And, you know, as we go on, you know, I say what I got to say. Everybody has to say what they have to say. And by the way, everybody there was brilliant. Like, I'm talking about, like, it's crazy, but you don't realize it. But, yo, these, like, these guys are also growing, you know what I'm saying, in their own direction. And uh, they go, you know, once the thing is done, a couple, you know, guys just reach out to me. They're like, hey, man, you know, hopefully I'm, I'm one day I want to be like you or I want to be like it, in your in yeah. your place type shit. And I'm like, holy fuck, like. Uh, that to me just to me was a, a reality check you know what i'm saying it was crazy but i just feel like that's something that god kind of just put in front of me today you get, you get yeah, what i'm saying like for sure for sure it's like something i was like i've been thinking about this for a long time like damn you know it'd be dope just pulling up talking to like kids from like maybe my old high school or something like that but this came you know to be which is like an excellent place right because it's uh, something relatable and it's just uh, a real crazy experience today just to think like, yo, like, you know, some people, you don't realize it, but you have an effect, you have an impact when you speak, right? And that's exactly why this podcast is here because there's people out there who, sure, you're listening to all the people who made it, you listen to the millionaires, I get it. You get I me? Mean? That's what, those are people you want to listen to, you know what I'm saying? But I like this setting because you work, we're not necessarily like recording, like, you know, our whole lives like a vlog, right? But we at least get a moment to kind of reflect, talk shit, whatever it may be. But it's something that, you know, at a level where we're, I guess, down. You get me? We're not up here. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Not yet. So, man, today was a, a real eye-opener for me. You get me? Like, it, it was a dope moment. It was, like, I just feel like, yo, God is just like, yo, bro, just keep doing you. You get me? Keep doing your thing. And, again, you know, I, I don't know where my life's going to be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been saying it. Yo, I just live my life. I just go about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever happens, happens in that sense. You know what I mean? Um, I do like to plan. I do like to, like, think about shit. But I don't know, man. Today was dope. I just wanted to share that to get the pleasantries out the deep. way. That's you deep. know what I'm saying? That's encouraging, bro. Yeah, man. So that, that goes for, like, anybody who, like, because I see people like, oh, you know, should I start a podcast? Should I do that? I'm like, yes. The answer is yes. You get me? Like, start. I think people start to look at podcasts and look at these things like I was like, yo, can I make money off of it? Can I blow up off of it? I'm like, yo, stop looking at shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. Like, there's people out there making money for real. You know, like Joe Rogan's out there making money. There's podcasts that make r- real good money. But yo, just do something because you enjoy doing that shit. You get me? Don't don't try to get into something because oh, you're about to make a lot of money. You get me? Like you you gotta kind of leave those. I understand that you gotta eat, you gotta pay bills. I'm not knocking that, but you know what I'm saying. You gotta kind of focus on. On the things that really matter to you. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to get those pleasant out the way before I come with the shits. Nah, but that's good. Uh, to continue that idea, um, mm-hmm. I think I think something you hit is just the reality of, of like, everybody was nobody at first. You know what I mean? Like, And so, people can't see a track record sometimes because they just want to see the top. Like, hey, what's the shortcut to the top? Like, how do I blow up? Yeah. Uh, but, you know, you have the perspective of understanding that in comparison to some people, you're already quote-unquote successful. But there's also right. that the dreams that you have, the passion that you have, that's gonna lead you to whatever God sets before you. And I think that that is literally like you guys might know this, but there's it's like the driving force behind this period. Mm. And it's because like you're literally like you combine passion with discipline in a way that few people have. And I think a lot of people have a lot of passion, lack discipline. Mm-hmm. And I think you're passionate, but you're also learned to conduct that through discipline to make sure that it's a regiment. You know, that's right. I've seen you in the gym, so I know that you're yeah, uh, yeah. you're an idiot, and I hate you in the gym. But that, <laughs> <laughs> but it's that good uh, continuity okay. that leads to progress and growth, right? right. And it's the same thing in finance, the same thing in career and in, in school. Like you got that perseverance, and I, and I think a lot of times people want the shortcuts. They don't understand that is discipline, constantly showing up, uh, because you know, you did this internship. You could have not envisioned the result of that internship. Nah, for sure. 
And I like I you know, and I think that a lot of us were like, all right, I'm gonna start this podcast. It's gonna blow up. Money in the bank, done. Yeah. Then you start seeing like three subscribers, which are the three people you know mm -hmm. stick around for three years, and that they don't even watch anymore or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you give up. It's like no, man. You gotta understand that sometimes you don't envision the growth you can have, the impact you can have on somebody. You just gotta keep going because it's the thing you feel called to do. Exactly, man. That's it. And you put it into a, like good perspective. That's all it is, man. You know, people ask like, oh, you know, so how do I figure out, you know, what my path is in life, right? And I think that that question, it comes from like, what should I study? What should I work out? Like, what is it that I need to do? And I think you already have the answer to that question. You know what I'm saying? The thing is that you just need to have that vision to be like, okay, you know, I can do this for mm -hmm. a living, right? Yeah. Or I can do this, you know, one day. Have the faith to overcome the fear and the naysayers. Exactly. People are going to be like, that's dumb. Exactly. That can't be a career. That can't be a job. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Let me tell you something, bro. It's insane to me. Even look, even the thing that you sent me, you sent me, uh, there's an Instagram page about pastors who wear high beast stuff, right? How many, do you know how many followers that page has or whatever? Uh, and the, the sneakers one has thousands and like the other one has tens of thousands you say yeah, tens of thousands probably by now yeah okay you see that that to me is uh, again i'm not trying to say a followers mean anything but just the fact that there's people willing to follow right like willing to look at a page that just that niche and and it's crazy to me but like people out here make money off of everything yeah, you know I mean? like dude, it's a different smart. Uh, the dude who did this page uh what he ended up doing is he ended up selling merch oh okay okay right, so he's selling some dope merch uh, preacher sneakers yeah. right and but the merch money goes to a foundation he says that all he does is basically get the money back for what he sold based on the merch yeah and then the profit itself goes go to a foundation mm. and so he he said he sent like a picture of like a, i don't know uh like i don't want to exaggerate the number but it was a, a couple thousand bucks that he made of merch then he sent the picture of him transferring that to the donation just in wow. case the people were doubting that he was actually yeah doing of this. course Damn. so he's he's enjoying something he likes which is bringing consciousness to sneakers because the dude knows a lot about shoes right 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 and so while well, making profit and making a difference for other people i think that that's the perfect balance of life yeah can you make an income can you enjoy what you do and can you impact somebody else's life if that is yes mm -hmm. on all three then follow that dream for sure, you gotta go for it. Yeah, in that case, for sure, man. So, go go to you know, um, transition. Yeah, yeah, you know, as I said, we got a special guest on here today, so you know we are gonna talk some shit well, for sure. He's a guest. I don't know if he's special, but he's a guest. Okay, fine. He's a guest. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I don't think he's special either. He's special <laughs> lead sometimes, but you know. <laughs> but <laughs> overall, <laughs> overall, that's not a. Ba if it's true, it's even better. It's even better. So. <laughs> so what's gonna happen is i'm gonna hit you with some questions actually what do you want to talk about do you got something in mind that you've been like thinking about how about you rapid fire just rapid fire give him the yeah, mic man. we ask him a bunch of questions oh, we can think of freestyle you ready go ahead go ahead black or blue black green or red red <laughs> short girls or tall girls yo this is short that's the easy one short well that's the easy one for you yeah because i'm short oh okay <laughs> Okay, dick, big, skinny, slim. Oh, hold up. This went the wrong way. I heard, that's, I heard dick. <laughs> thick, that's what he said. Thick, I heard thick, dick. thick, 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 slim, big. big. No, he said dick. What kind of body type? Hold up, like? don't be too sweet. <laughs> don't be. I, never, I know you got some chocolate, but don't no, be too sweet. <laughs> don't be too sweet that's today, right. sweetness. I never, I never said thick, thick, thick. Oh. Thick or what? Slim, skinny, scrawny. What kind of you like? Thick. Left side. Huh? Thick. Thick. All right. What do you like to do on your first date? Do you date? Yes, I date. Okay, what do you do on the first date? Uh, go to a restaurant. All right. D are you paying for her? I, I th I, courtesy, I think it's mentioned. No, I don't, think, I, I, don't think, I don't think... Do you? Are I, you? I, I think you? that's what I do. Yeah, I pay for okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to turn it. He's like, well, you know, you know, how we're going. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, <laughs> if, if you slap butter on some toast, you know what I'm saying? Is it really breakfast? You know what I'm saying? Like, who knows? <laughs> are you trying to clean it up? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like if you slap bologna on, the sa on, on, some, on some bread, is it really a sandwich? <laughs> that's, that's exactly how you sound like right now. <laughs> I don't know, yo. All right. So, how do you ask the girl on a date? Cause I've, I've, I don't think I've ever asked a girl on a date. Mm -hmm. Question. Oh, that's a good question. Um, how do you ask a girl on a date? Tell about setting it up correctly. Okay, how do you... Can uh, you give us a... Got, run down. Give us a uh, go-to. Let's see. And to be honest, you shouldn't even let her pick. You should give her an option and then... Just t like, you hit her with the... Um, can you meet up to eat? 
here and she'd be like nah that doesn't work for me I, fuck i gotta think this over <laughs> yeah no you gotta think it now that's the point it's rapid questions you damn know? it has to be natural honest you can't be thinking politically I, correct if I had to do it, this is how I do it, right? If I were to ever date, cause you know, technically like, speaking, like you'd be like, no, you hey, you let's men. go, huh? Let's go. I never date men. Well, if I date men, it's you guys then. Can I take y'all to eat sometimes? First of all, right? I already told so you. You call out a date. I already told you. That be looking kind of cute. I ain't gonna lie, we're looking fluffy. <laughs> well, I'll say this. I've never. I don't. I don't know their dates. I've definitely been out to eat with women before, right? Like or girls, or whatever you want to call. It. I like to say women now, cause I, I've been corrected on that a few times. A lot of times. Yeah, like like girls be like. Is women yeah don't they say girls because girls is like they i guess mad. little it's like it's like you yeah you're disrespecting yeah, yeah. Them. so women so i've gone out to eat with women before but it's never been like on well actually no that's not that's not true i've definitely been on a, a one date before but it was like whack i was younger i went to the movies you know what i'm saying but this was my younger days i was like maybe 21 i was you know when it comes to girls i'm like what well, you call a duck like you say you know i like to get fed bread sometimes you know what i'm saying <laughs> sometimes <laughs> you think what i'm saying <laughs> give me a little bit of bread I ain't gonna lie, that's going the, the best movies. day ever. You mean going to movies? That's the best day ever when you're, you're young. To, when you're young, because, look, yeah. when you're young, you, what do you have to talk about? No, I'm saying, but. Let's be honest, what do you have going for yourself? Age. We're, we're what are you gonna be like, now. I'll see you in period we're, six? We're like, about, what are you gonna be like? We're talking about now, though, I'm saying. Oh, right now, no, right We're talking about now, can you stop? We're talking about right now. Right now, yeah. So, last podcast with Julian. I've, re- you know, watching it back, Julian would do some of these, and you yeah. can't barely hear Julian. No, it has to be direct. Yeah, it has to be direct. So yeah. that's why I'm yeah, trying to like. So this shit look like a. But it's like you be setting up. Ice cream cone. Freestyle. That's the problem. Like yeah, you yeah. Me? <laughs> you get excited. Honestly, man. going to the movies on a first date is terrible. If you're trying to meet the girl and trying to date the girl, what the fuck are you going to talk about question. in a movie? Like, you how, can't talk during the movie. How do you set up you a first date? Because I'm assuming if I got to the point that I asked a girl on a date, I already know some stuff about her. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So I'll tell you about mine. So when I was younger, because I don't know about this, I was definitely in uh, talks with a young lady at the time, if you will. Uh, no, no, she was a young, young lady. lady. Your lady's fitting. You can say girls, but you can say young lady. And too many, too many word choices. We were, we were, you know, just going back and forth, you know, like on the text, and you know, we just set it up, like, yo, you know, uh, we should hang out. You know, my thing. I love fucking movies. So once you, yeah, you know, there's my problem, bro. Once a girl tells me some shit that I like, I be on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> She's like, oh, I, you know, I will prefer to just stay home and watch movies and go out. I was like, yo, let me get you pregnant today. <laughs> right now. For real. For real. Yo, look, y- y'all know how much I love the fucking movies. I go to the movies. The fuck in the movies? No, that's a fucking. <laughs> well, yeah, the way you find That's a, the wait, wait, that's a fuck in the movies. What I'm saying, like, I. Uh, that's, I just like the movies. That's what I'm trying to say, like, in general. So, for me, I was like, all right, cool. Say less. So, you know, we go to the movies. It was whack, though, because, you know, we didn't really get a chance to actually talk. Yeah. We just pulled up, watched the movie, and then right after, who was fighting? Somebody was fighting. It was, um, it was... Mayweather. No, 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 Canelo. not Mayweather. <laughs> was it John Jones? John I forgot who Jones. was fighting. Damn, I forgot time, who was fighting. Time, I think, I think it might have been, um... McGregor. It might have been McGregor fighting again. Nate, no, was it Nate Diaz? I don't remember. It was somebody was fighting in the UFC. All right, and I was like, you know, I'm, I, I ain't fucking missing this motherfucking fight. You know what I'm saying? So I had to take my. Oh, it was, it was a uh, McGregor Nate Diaz too. I was like, I'm not missing this motherfucking fight. So you know, I slid out there and it, I kind of ended it on a bad note because realistically, what I should have done was, all right, you know, let's go have dinner. Yeah. You know, but I don't have the int- like again. Like I said, I, I'm not, I'm not qualified. Yo, if you want to talk, yeah, let me know so I give you the mic, bro. We're missing the. Yeah, just, just be like, hey, on, hey, 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 hey. Just take it hey, from me. Just hey, take, let's take hey, that shit from no, me. No, no, just do the camera. Be like, hey. Yeah, just take hey. that shit from me. So, what I was saying is, I should have, you know, probably done that, but, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. It's hard for me to, like, be out here and doing these smooth bullshit because it's not me. You get me? Like, I'm not. It'll feel natural. Yeah, just do me. You get what I'm saying? So, for me, I was like, yeah, you know, like, I just kind of want to do this. I, that, I think so, that, but, but to answer your question, though, the way I set it up was we were talking before. It's not like I went up to a girl yeah, just talked see, to her. Yeah, see, that sounds like something that I, I think nah. is more logical. You know what it is? You're thinking from, like, a 1970s point of view. No. Or, or post-internet. No, because, like, yeah. No, I'm, I'm thinking, like, like, this is, I feel like, yo, I told you. To me, it's, I don't believe it till I see it that, like, I'm just gonna hit you up in the DMs, and then he ends up like working enough that you end up meeting up. Oh, oh you want to talk about that? Oh, bro, let me tell you something. That's honestly, I don't believe. I tell you to this day, I don't believe. Listen, it. bro, I have to see it. 
85% of anything I've ever done in my life has been through IG. Yeah, but you mean like sexually? I mean like hanging out as a date. Well, it's the same thing. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Yeah, because I mean, we could have gone on dates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Well, have I? Well, actually, no, that's not true. Well, okay, so there was a. Again, I don't know. The, you you guys tell me these are dates, right? So, you know, back back in my day, right? When I was out here back in these in streets. My day. Uh, yeah, back in my day. You yesterday. know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, because. I'm not out here no more. So back in my day, I remember I kind of like met up with a, a old, old friend, like from like elementary school. Right. And she hit me up on something like, yo, let's just go out tonight. So we met up at a bar. We talked, we chilled. And, you know, like I, I could, the thing is this, you know, I try to be that as honest. Like a date, though. That definitely, it sounds like a date, but the thing was this. So I thought she was cute. Right. Clearly she thought, you know, cause otherwise she probably wouldn't have asked me to go out in the first place. But, you know, as, as I was talking with her, though, she was too serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wanted to get married. She wanted to settle down. She, yeah, you know, she, she was a Christian girl. Like, she was a nice girl, man. Like, beautiful, all that shit. But, uh, I mean, you know, it, 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 to me, I'm too in the point where I like, I guess I'm, I want to be too honest. You get me? So, like, I didn't want to just, like, yeah, you could just take, take the clip out like you did last time. Like, I'm just too honest, so I don't like to play around and play girls. You know, that's not that's not my thing. Yeah, that's not my cup of tea. That brings too much drama. To be honest with you, if that didn't bring drama, I might do it. You get me? But it does bring drama. So, for me, it's like, nah, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? So, um, at towards the end of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I... I'm done. No, no, I, I wasn't not like we stay talking and we still talk to this day actually like you know we'll on IG and shit, but because but it's really because of me though you know what I'm saying so so realistically speaking if I was to be like oh you know I want to be in a relationship too that could have definitely gone somewhere you know what I mean like for sure and it, it's it's probably and I could probably say the same for you know the a number of yeah look, whatever look, you know George doesn't date though let's be real George no I, well you know I don't date because it's pointless for me to date though like, exactly What's like. So you, you you are of the belief that dating is supposed to be synonymous with commitment? Yeah, for sure, man. Okay, so you have that belief. Yeah, yeah. Because, because you know, if you're if you're going out on a date with somebody, it's because you want to be with somebody. If you're going on a date because you just want to fuck somebody, uh, I'm not wasting my time on that. You know I mean, me personally, that's why I, that's why I avoid that because for me, it's like okay, if I can come here, and I could we can have a conversation, right? And I tell you, look, man, I'm not a person who's like into like serious stuff right now. You know, blah blah. That's not me. That's not who I am. And you reciprocate that same energy, then we both know where we're at. But if you tell me, oh, look, you know, I want to be serious. I want to be this. And I tell you, oh, well, I'm not. Then it's like, okay, cool. Look, let's have a conversation about something else that has nothing to do with any sexual tension. That has None of that shit. You get me? Because there's no point of it. You get me? Because I, if you're not in the same mind state, whereas, you know, you just want to kind of do your thing and that's it. And I, I don't think that we should even get to that point because then what's going to happen is... You're going to be like, oh, well, I thought you wanted to be serious. And then, you know, I'm over here getting messages or whatever it may be. And I'm getting into drama. And that's the one thing I want to avoid for life. You get me? I hate drama. I don't deal good with drama because I'd be snapping out here. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't I do not do with that. You get me? So, for me, to avoid all drama, I would much rather just tell you the truth. Yeah, you know, like, look, I'm not... I'm not boyfriend material. I'm not hubby material. I'm a bum. You don't want to be with me. You know what I'm saying? You might want to kiss me. And that's cool. I might want to kiss you too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's about it though. You know what I'm saying? After that, it don't make sense. It just don't make sense to me. Oh, man. I, I'm sorry. Point is, how do you ask the girl on a date? I, I'm telling you, look. The thing is, no, no, he answered that. No, no. He, how would you ask a girl on a date? I already told you. I don't ask girls on a date. They ask you out? No, because I mean they've asked boy. a bunch of girls have asked me out on a date, and I've given them the same answer every time. You're gay. I smile. <laughs> I smile. Be like, God bless you. What well, is the thing, man? You know, I think that if you've been watching this podcast for a while, because girls have told me already, Chris is a good guy. You know what I mean? Like Chris, look the at ideal just look guy. at Chris. Yeah, Chris is like the ideal boyfriend. Well, before you came, I told him he looks like John Travolta <laughs> right now. Yeah, <laughs> or like uh, or G Easy a little bit. You know, say like a little, like a little G Easy. The leather jacket though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, Chris, pleather, pleather. That was a, Chris, Chris is a good guy. Chris is not out here just. You know what I'm saying? Chris is like the guy you marry. You know what I'm saying? Like, like put it like this. You I take think, him to your mama. 
How, what's the word? Uh, polar opposites is like the the word, right? Me and Chris would be polar opposites, right? Like Chris is like the type of person who probably is not gonna try to talk to you, right? Like he's not trying to mac at you or whatever. But if he is, he's trying to take you serious for the most part. Me, I'm. It's not that I'm, I don't want to take you serious. It's not because of you. It's because of me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just not in that in that headspace. You know what I'm saying? It's, icon. it's, it's not you. It's, it's me. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever, it's completely me. If you ever in your life <laughs> just encounter yourself with me, just know that is is not you. You know what I'm saying? It's you're, my fault. you're perfect just the way you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Trained. Like it's not like you know what you're saying. It's not you, it's me. We can make this work as a friendship and nothing else. Two girls just unfollowed him off Instagram right now. Just get that coming. <laughs> hey, uh I don't have that many followers. It's so cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. I That's the whole two followers. I bet right if now. I were to put this up, a bunch of girls would have been like, um, if I were to be like, yo, who who do you send this to? A bunch of girls would be like, me, 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 <laughs> me, me. But the poll? You know, <laughs> Honestly, I think that... DM for, me if George has ever DM'd in the middle of the night. Look, <laughs> look, this is the perfect segue to this topic. You know how we're taught... Well, actually, I wasn't really taught this, right? But I guess, like, in general, in movies and shit, you're taught, no, ever judge a book by its cover. Like, I, I've never really been taught that, though. Like, my parents never said, don't judge a book. Like, I, my parents never told me that. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, a white, a very white thing, I think, right? Or, like, a very American no, thing. We're Hispanic. They yeah, like, my mom's never told me that, but, you know... We get you different know, traditions. Right, different. but in general, though, you know, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. Our parents judge every book by its cover. Right. So, like, the, and I feel, I feel the same way. So, f <laughs> I feel like, um... My mom's not racist, though. For some weird reason... <laughs> yes, <she is. laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents are racist. big racist. No, no, you know what? No, they're not racist. They're, uh, profilers. Yeah. That's they're all they're... Yeah, yeah, profilers. They're not racist. Racist is like you hate a race. They don't hate the thing, black though. people. They, they, they profile people, but then those other Hispanic families, they profile us. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, everybody profiles everybody. Let's get that one out the way. You see somebody, got, like, got, walking, you know... I got you know. So like, yeah, he's a fuck Yeah, boy. yeah, <laughs> Well, but that, that's what I want to get to, though. Like, you know... At the end of the day, it's crazy, but like you see, like just like you said, like somebody might look at you and say, "Oh, like you look like a fuckboy." Yeah, but yeah. I know you. You're not a fuckboy. Yeah. So fuckboy, at least not and yet. A fu and a no yeah, the fuck? What do you mean not yet? <laughs> you fucking asshole. Well, not yet, cause I mean, you're young. You're 24. You're 24, right? You're 24. I mean, yo, the fuck, you I can turn to fuckboy. I don't think it's gonna change. Oh, you could. Oh, definitely. You're 24. I'm, I'm, about me. I'm not gonna change though. Oh, you could. You like, don't know that. That's it's a possibility. Yeah, there's yeah, a real possibility that you might turn into a fuckboy. Who knows? I'm just saying, most people will look at you and be like, oh, you're a fuckboy. And most people will look at Chris and be like, oh, well, he looks like a nice guy. But because Chris has this nerdy thing to him too, though, right? Like, I mean, Chris looks like, like right now, you look like a regular guy who's a little nerdy. You're like a hipster right now. Yeah. But when you have your glasses, you look real nerdy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you look at Chris, it's like, well, I might give Stop him a wedgie. I might give him <laughs> a wedgie. Godly. I might <laughs> knock his coffee over his shirt at work. You know what I'm saying? I might do some of that shit. But I mean, I, nobody really does that, right? Nobody's real assholes like that. But to, to that extent, though, people really do judge you based off that, which is crazy because th this is exactly where I get to. Like, yo, some people out here are missing out on certain things because of that judgment. You know what I mean? Girls. Let me tell y'all, I understand that beards and fades, they look like fuckboys. Abs, they like, nah, that motherfucker's trouble. I understand it. And you live in Miami. I get it. But not every motherfucker who has that is that. You know what I'm saying? Except George, he is. No, I'm not like, I'm not that. I'm definitely not that. I'm the type of dude to tell you, hey, look, man, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> He's a fuckboy. It's not you, it's, it's a, me. It's <laughs> definitely a fuckboy. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Um, I don't love you. Yeah, I man. So me. I don't know. What, what do y'all? Let me. Let me. What do y'all think about that? Do you, are you judging girls based off of that all the time, or you guys are you actually giving some some of these girls the benefit of the doubt? All right, I'm gonna put it to you in this. How many movies have you chosen not to see because the trailer sucked? Oh. Oof, oof, a lot. And then the movie's good. The movie ends up being good, but who cares? You missed out. I don't know. Because it it might have been good. Critic wise, but your the trailer didn't hit you right, so you didn't want to watch it, right? Yeah, oh, we talk about all the time that you like, oh, this movie I liked, even the critics said they suck. Oh yeah, yeah I don't give a fuck about that. I know, but my point is, we judge movies by its cover. We, like, if you don't know, so, people care about uh, the cover of the book what too, about, about. physically speaking. What's about? Not to interrupt, but what? But judging a movie by the trailer is different by judging a movie off the poster. Cause okay, so judging somebody by. Because it, it's like this. I say the trailer is like judging somebody off of their Instagram. Instagram. Exactly. Because realistically speaking, I was thinking about this today. Like, my Instagram, right? It has only pictures of me. 
I'm thinking, you know what? I didn't even really think about this. But I'm like, you know what? All these pictures are like me trying to like pose and trying to look cool. And, you know, and I'm really not cool. So I understand why people could be like, oh, definitely, he might be rich or he might be an true. asshole. I can, I can understand that now. I didn't really understand it before, but I, I just thought about the time. Like, I can see why people might think I'm an asshole cause I, or a narcissist. I have fucking pictures of myself like a dumbass no, only. I have no pictures of, like, nobody else on there. Like, barely any of my friends. Like, you might be on one of them joints. You know what I'm saying? But That's the only one. I'm You're the only friend. Right, but, but I barely have pictures I, I of, like, my people. I favorite friend. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really because it comes down to, like, I'm boyfriend. down stuff, right? Like, <laughs> But I don't know. So I could kind of understand this. I think that's the trailer I, part. I it because I'm down. Like, we don't know. Like, <laughs> like we don't know. Like, Chris, Chris just wants to hear it. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? First I'm of all, I don't need to hear it. It's the evidence all around. Like, I already know. <laughs> this is the narcissistic personality of pretty boys. <laughs> no, that what we talked about uh, last time. Pretty boys out here don't give a fuck about you, bro. I want to, everybody to know that right now. Pretty boys out here just know it's all about them. And you know it's all about you. No. It's like that song, that no. Chip Scarlett song. <laughs> no, is it Chip Scarlett song? <laughs> it's all about you, girl. <laughs> On your 15th birthday. Is that? What was that from? That's from That's Chip Scarlett? Ha, I remember that shit. If y'all know Chip like, <laughs> drop a fucking like on this shit right now. But this I, podcast is for all the motherfuckers who listen to Chip Skylark while they at night, shiny teeth and me, while they at night eating ice cream by themselves crying. This is what this podcast is for right now. You wallet, bro. Uh, uh, about, about, get, we, I got boosted up on the friend list. Fuck you. I'm the oldest friend. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. We're not about to have no argument about who's a great friend. Uh, we're not about to do this. First of all. We're the oldest all, friend. This is yeah, a different topic. Yeah, look, the when you, whenever friend. you get to those kind of random features, you know you lost. Who's the oldest friend you ever know? <laughs> you lost, homie. You lost. I'm you not know. gonna lie. He <laughs> you got lost. you on you that lost. one. He got... He, <laughs> when you have to be like, like... Am I... Like, you know, like that auntie... Oh, pero yo soy tu favorita tía, right? Like, it's I'm like, it's like, that girl, it's like that girl goes, but I was his first. But you ain't get married to him, though. Facts. Who That's cares? Facts. You know? Let me tell you something. Right, but let me go back to Jason. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry, because sorry, you said that real quick, so you could continue. First of all, I realize this. Your first don't mean shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be real with y'all. Like, like, don't, you know, I understand that people, like, take pride in, like, oh, I was his first. Your first don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, your first is like, if anything, you got to go back to your first and show her what you've learned down the road. You know what I'm saying? Redemption, redemption. Yeah, yeah. Your first really don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but as far as I'm going, thankful for that one though. Mm. First one, you feel me? You could be the first one. You could be the second one. It, it, all, only one that matters is the I last don't, one. I don't care about That's being the matters. first or the last. The I only want to be the best. The one that matters is the last that, one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so, yeah, so, if he was the best one, you would have stayed with her to begin with. <laughs> true. true. <laughs> That's kind of true. That's kind of true. All right, man, man. I'm trying to focus here. So, back to um, did you book match cover? Yeah, man. Look, I'm going to tell you what happens. For example, you see a girl all Gucci'd out. I already said she's outside of my financial statements. Therefore, she's outside of me even look that way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying she's a... I don't judge character necessarily. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I be like, she's stuck up. Mm-hmm. Right? But definitely... She got a little Gucci on? No, no. If you yeah. Gucci it out, bro... Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, I'll be like... I'll be like... Look, if That's you weren't... Like, we talk about this all the time. Where's fear of God? You think he's bougie? No, but but the street fear word essential. First of all, <laughs> fair God essential. I love you just didn't like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get that. No, it's, the essential is cheap. But no, no. But even it if it was, like it was a fear of God, like face. even if it's fear of God, sometimes fear of God is subtle. So unless you have like the, like the really real like yeah, out the going yeah. stuff, but if you like full on Gucci, oh, we talk about this all the time. Like if you're wearing like the athlete stuff for the gym. Oh yeah. If you're wearing designer and you actually use it at the gym, not just as a fit. Oh, you rich. The you rich, rich. Oh, yeah. To clarify again, he said rich, rich. Like, <laughs> if you got a Gucci track suit and you sweating and you getting that shit dirty, yeah, or you like, rich, you're rich. not like you didn't use it for an Instagram yeah, post. Yeah, you you ran. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, and well, that point, useful, I started looking at him like, damn, yeah, she bougie. Or, or you see, like, you know, dudes. I, we can't help it. You see, dudes wearing uh, Ultra Boosts, skinny jeans, and an Adidas T-shirt. I already know you're at 11. Like, I already know you're at 11. You can't tell me nothing. Like. Oh, for sure. You got that 11 hat in the back of your trunk right now. Yeah. Right now. Yep. And you're a street racer. And you like, wear it during the day. <laughs> I know you're You street. definitely race cars, for sure. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't, I can't help it, but it happens. Some of these are wrong. Like, you look, your parents. Your parents look at somebody with tattoos. They are automatically drug dealers. And gang members. Even if the tattoo means like aloha and, and I don't All know what. All my friends are drug dealers there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's because your parents have a certain perspective of people, too. Right, like if, if you tell your parents, "Oh, I know this person who, who does cocaine," 
They're thinking you're doing he's cocaine. a criminal. No, I think he's a criminal. You're, you're doing They'll be shocked too. that he's a lawyer. I mean, and, and cocaine is already like hard, oh, right? Like hardcore. Yo, you do drugs, like any, like you smoke weed, and you already looked at as Hispanic yeah. parents are looking at you like, oh, ese un drogadicto, yeah. ese un pandillero. Like, yo, they'll, they'll tell you all the, you, for y'all Spanish speakers, if y'all know what that means, y'all know. If yeah, you know, it's you rough. know. You know, it's you know rough. These, these, but, yeah, these Spanish parents out here. Yeah, but, so that is instilled in us. I think we're not at the extreme that they are because we grew up in this country. So you saw a lot of things that at first time you saw them, you were shocked. Like, I remember the first time I saw two girls hooking up in the hallway. I was like, two are, girls are, are, are we okay with this? Why? Because I grew up in a Christian home. Yeah, yeah. You get me? So, and plus, I, gr- I went to school in a Christian school up to like fifth grade. So I didn't get to see none of this until fifth grade, sixth grade. Man, I remember in middle school, I, I was hearing motherfuckers was getting their dick sucked in the fourth floor. <laughs> yeah, that's in wild. Middle school. That's wild. I've been thinking about this now. I'm like, hold up. These motherfuckers were like 13 years old, like yeah, sucking yeah. dick. 13 years old? That's crazy. My boy hasn't even matured yet. You feel me? My boy got two inches of <laughs> well, my yeah, dick. I, I, yo, I saw a kid get kicked out of middle school for smoking cigarettes. Cigarettes? I'm like, yo, first of all. Cigarettes? Yeah, cigarettes. Like, oh, you know what? you were in middle school smoking cigarettes? Like, that's bad, bro. Yeah, yeah. Cigarettes? And I went to, well, quote, unquote, a good middle school. So I'm like, yo, what's up? But yeah, the whole idea of Smoking categorizing people, pack. we can't help it. <laughs> it's like, the guy just keeps up. I live so low. It's like three or fives. No filter. <laughs> like, just a dirty oh. <laughs> my boy. It's like, it's like right. Chris, Chris is over here talking like some serious thing. He's like, weed. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> Dogs. <laughs> and Chris is talking. Chains. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, motherfucker? Let me talk. He, 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 he's just the shot. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking I'm about? Like, I quit. I quit. I can't work here. <laughs> Every oh, time George does the mic, I'm like, pussy. <laughs> You're going to hear he's it. Like, randomly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's like, who, who's, who's there? Who called me? Who's, you what, you're going to edit the video. Be like, who yeah, the he's fuck? Like, echoes just everywhere. Who the fuck but called yeah, me a man. pussy? Like, you got to tell me. Like, you know, you, I know you. First of all, I know you for sure be categorizing girls all the time. Because you already say, no, no, she drives X car. I see a girl that I like, you know, because me, I say it's based off purely looks. You get me? I'm like, oh, man. Now I see you like you, you got, you got a nice car. Cool. You know, you got something going for you. I, I understand two parts to this, right? One part is, you know, you probably financing the car, right? Like everybody else is nothing wrong with that. Um, doesn't necessarily mean you're balling, but for me, uh, you, you know, you know what I'm saying. I, I need somebody who drives like a like a 1998 Honda Accord. You're financing a 1998 Honda Accord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I need somebody who's like. If she's financing it, you're dating the wrong girl. Nah, nah, nah. nah. I need, I need some of that. Nah, I need some of that in she my life. She sells drugs. And I, I, I need someone who's like, you know, who likes like eat ramen noodles every now and then. You know what I'm saying? The, the dollar ones, the quarter yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. Cause ramen noodles are fire, but they're expensive as hell. And so are they expensive? I thought ramen noodles real, was like a cheap thing. I thought about real ramen. Real ramen is expensive. Real ramen. I thought about oodles and noodles type shit, like uh, Meek Mill ramen. Cup about. noodles, bro. Cup that's, noodle soup. Yeah, that's yeah. Different. Wrong. First of all, ramen noodles is one of the cheapest things you can ever buy. Like, like the brand ramen. No, no bro. No, ramen isn't Maruchin a brand. Or it's, it's a called. type of noodle. Yeah, Whatever. It's like saying spaghetti or gnocchi. That's not. Brand. Listen, man. What I'm trying to say is that I need somebody who's cheap. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Somebody who ain't out here. If she, if she got, if she got food stencils for me. Now, look, I always say, this, I've always said this. I've always said this. I'm, 
I got money for me. You know what I'm saying? I got I, I got money just for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got just enough money for me to buy myself a little bit of wine, a little bit of chocolate, and chill in my he house. He cuts his hair every Thursday. You know what I'm saying? I got enough money to... Every Thursday. Like uh, Carlos Miller says, I got me a few dollars. <laughs> you know what i'm saying life is pretty good right now <laughs> so i got me a few dollars for now you know what i'm saying so i don't i'm not really into the um so once i see a girl that's like too flashy she out here gucci bags and all this shit it ain't you know what i'm saying like it's ugh, you know what i'm saying so i don't know there's a couple girls that for me i'd be like you know what that's wifey you know what i'm saying like that and when i say couple i mean two there's two girls I'd be like, oh, you know, I, I might wife you up you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I see some hustling, some but I don't know how bougie these girls are. Yeah, Cause you never spoken to them, or no? I've, okay, so I'm asking. No, is it because you've never spoken? Oh, no, to no, them? I have. Like, there's oh, definitely. Okay. Oh, oh no, no, and I, then the other there's one. another girl. Oh, no. I talk to her. All the, well, I don't say all the time, but I see her. You know, from time to time, she, you know, she cool. She cool people. We're talking about the same person. Oh, do you know who I'm talking about? Uh, baby. Yeah, I think I, I think we know. We're I, you know, you might know who I'm talking about. Is there one that doesn't live here? No. no. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Um. That. Yeah, right, yeah. That, right. That's what I said. That's what I said. Don't worry, but I'm probably gonna cut a lot of this out. I might, or I might, you know, don't censor fucking, some shit. Don't cut yeah, it out. Yeah, I might censor some shit. You're gonna beep this whole. You know what I'm talking about though. But yeah, yeah, yeah. She she cool people. She cool people. She, I just she, the she, problem is I don't know if she's bougie because one thing I do know that's a fact is that you're in Miami and you look good. Your DMs are flooded. And y'all you, you can tell me this. Is this an insecurity of mine? If you're a very pretty girl, right, and you live in Miami, your Instagram, your whatever, is flooded with rich guys. Or rich guys are always trying to hit on you. So how do you determine whether... Maybe she just wants a trophy. I don't know. Dude. Maybe she's no, I'm just saying, how do, you, how, how do you get over that? Like, if she's with you, do you officially say, okay, like, she doesn't give a fuck about that stuff. She's actually with me. Or, like, how do you categorize I that? Mean, it depends that on that the, In your uh, head as a guy. It, uh, well, at that point, you definitely, uh, yeah. you're going to have that insecurity until you guys, like, honestly, until you guys really start hanging out to the point that she shows you that she really doesn't care. Because you're going to have that insecurity, like, damn, no, but somebody else is going to come be and a show certain, something I can't afford. You have to be a certain kind of man to not care. Nah, man, first of all, I'm going to be done You have to get to that you. point that you just don't care. You get me? I, I, every man cares. Yeah, no, no, man, no, no, that's, that's just not ego, true. man. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, be, I'm going to tell you why, though, that's because because th- there's a thing. So if you have a girl, right? Let, let's say let, let's go ahead and let's say you know that's your girl right and you know that all these dudes that are rich i'm talking about dudes when i say rich bro i'm talking about real rich i'm talking about dudes are pulling up to like clubs and lamborghinis and shit and i'm not rentals you know what i'm saying so Even, you know keep- what let's go let's go with that even let's say there's rentals let's say those guys out here renting lamborghinis and to flash it. that's still bread that, that's what I'm saying. That's still bread. You what got you the mean? money to do that. That's, that's an expensive bread. ass day. Oh, that's what I'm saying. But that's still bread. Like if you have the money to do that, that's still bread. So e- e- like e- even, if, even if you get okay, it don't matter if it's a waste of money. <laughs> right or that. But I mean, uh, the, the 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 point here is You're that if you know that's your girl is attracting <laughs> that caliber of guy. For you as a man, you feel insecure because that's almost what you you know as a man you're taught you're, you're a provider you're a protector. That motherfucker could provide and protect. You know what I'm saying? He could hire protection. You know what I'm saying? He has the the provision. So, you know, for you, it's like, damn, all these dudes are hitting at your girl. It almost makes you feel like, yo, if I don't step my money game up and I don't step my feelings up or whatever, my girl's going to get took from me, like, in in a minute. So, so, you, so you think all these tens are getting snatched up by millionaires and rich people? Like first, of all, so solid tens. first of all, tens don't exist. We we talked about this before. Well, no, no, no. Tens, tens don't exist. Oh yeah, you're right. Ten, it's hard to find that ten. Just like ten, ones, ten it's hard to find exist. ones. They exist. It's just hard. I don't know, man. I don't know. Wonder Woman's a ten. Gal Gator, whatever her name is. Uh, the Amazonian girl. Amaz- um, Gal Gal Gal. Oh Gal Gal Gator. Got it. Um, Gated. it. Oh. Gated. it. I mean the the Wonder Woman character. I don't know about her. Oh, She's you mean a cartoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> that know, exists. That's not a real, real thing. Uh, I mean, Scarlett Johansson? Just nah, she's not a 10. What? She's not a 10. What? She's a beautiful fuck? girl. I'm telling you, look. So there's a 9.99999? Yeah, nine, no, nine, there's nine. nine. There's like nine in high nines. That's, a, that's not a question. There's no woman that's a 10. A 10 would be like a woman that is beautiful in every way, I'm including character. I think, I think that we can say 10 
maybe not in a deep conversation kind of way, but I think in a throwaway like conversation. Like in a physically? No, no, like in a throwaway, like, oh, she's a dime. She's a 10. Oh, yeah. Throwaway. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. can but, say, but that's like if we get to a deep the, conversation no. about it, yeah, we might, you know, like, nah, her personality is a little bit fucked up. Her teeth that, that's, no, but that's what I'm telling you. There's no 10s and there's no 1s. I was we're trying to tell you that. No, we're talking about There's looks. no girl that's that ugly that you could be like, yo, she's a Hold 1. Yes, no, there is. No, no. Listen, every every realistically, everything is really like... Relative. Relative, exactly. I was gonna say comparison in comparison, but it, uh, in reality, it is. You could have seen the ugliest girl you've ever seen in your entire life, and but yeah, you call that a one. But, but that's worldwide. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I, I feel what you're saying. There's definitely a one though. Statistically, oh, there's definitely a one. There's a girl. <laughs> no, no you like. I see where you're coming from, but you're wrong. There yes, yes, yes. There's a girl out there who. There's a girl out there who has like reptile skin. I'm gonna be real with you. Statistically, there should be a one. More than one one. <laughs> oh, for sure. And I can't wait to find them because yeah. I'm trying if to get If she has them. more facial hair than you, she's getting close to one. I'm going to be real with you. Nah, that's that's uh, a tranny. That's all that is. <laughs> There's women with beards. I'll be real with you. There's women is. with beards. Wait, we can't say tranny. <laughs> Chill. Wait, wait, what's the word? What's the word? Trans. No. You have to say that. Transgender. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, That's Chinese people. I mean, trans. <laughs> best time. My bad. No, no, yo. You're gonna get us. No, no, this is not, no, you're gonna get honestly, us demonetized. Honestly, we're not monetized. First off, we've been demonetized a lot. That we're not even. We're not even close to monetized yet, buddy. <laughs> it, we got. We got. We, we got, got some hours to put in this. We bitch. have one sponsor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsors. Who's the sponsor? Niggas that wear no socks. <laughs> That's not a sponsor. We need we need that sponsor. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I take any sponsor at this point. You want to send me laces? You want to send me yeah, cords? Bluetooth, hit us up. <laughs> oh no, nah, Bluetooth for the big boys, man. But anyways, back back on the thing. There's definitely ones out there, man, for sure. And there's definitely a ten. Yeah, 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 yeah man. You know, I, I I think we gotta start being a little bit more serious. I don't, right? I don't think no one's that bad and no one's yes, that good. For sure. Yeah. Beyonce, that's a ten. She's a. 10? That's a ten. Yeah. Beyonce nah, is a she's 10. Like a 9.5. No. You know why you say that? You say that because you're leaving room for imperfection. Yeah. Yeah, but fuck all that bullshit. We don't. No, you're right. never going to meet Beyonce to that. If you ever meet me, Beyonce and you get to say, you know what? I thought she was a 10, but I'm, I'm going to demo her to like a 9.5. Then you can do that. But you don't fucking know Beyonce. So for right now, Beyonce to you has to be a 10. Let me ask you something. Who's a mo- to you? Name me one celebrity that you think is absolutely fucking stunning, beautiful that you can think of right now. I'll tell you right now, Margot Robbie. B E A beautiful, but I give her a nine. And this is like low for me because you know, just thinking about it now, I just realize this we're fucking rating women like dickheads on this fucking podcast. Well, I've been trying to promote that there's no perfect women. It's That's okay though. I don't mind uh, rating women. No, I th- because I, we do. Th- we I do think this Adriana anyways. Lima. I think Adriana Lima is one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. Ooh, that sounds familiar. Who's that? The girl Adriana. from Victoria's Secret. Oh she yeah, she used to be the Victoria's Secret cover girl exactly for like years. She's the, one of the most beautiful girls. Every way, long hair, long black hair, beautiful smile, beautiful eyes, like tall curves, all that. Uh, I think she's one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. And even then, I don't think she's a 10 because I don't know her. Well, there's a thing, man. I think that we could deem girls as 10 maybe when we meet them and they're like kind of fucked up. I think it's the same for guys. There's guys I think out here that are, that are like... The eight motherfuckers. Well, yeah, for sure. Like Chris Evans, yeah, Chris yeah. Hamworth, like, yeah, uh, Thor. What's his name? Chris uh, Hamworth. Oh, Chris Hamworth. Yeah, yeah. that like, motherfucker has to be like a yeah. ten. You know what I'm saying? Like this motherfucker, like he could swim with sharks and then like choke slam a whale. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for fun, he does that shit every yeah, day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like work. Just yeah, jumps into the Australian ocean. You know what I'm saying? Catches a uh, a baby shark with his hands and comes back. Like, but uh, you know who his wife is, right? Yeah, the, the girl from Fast and Furious. The girl from Fast and Furious. Yeah, she's I'm, really I'm, pretty too. Yeah, she's really pretty. I'll give her. You know, I'm gonna judge somebody else's wife. <laughs> the, p- the point here is that that exists. You know what I'm saying? Point. No. Yeah. Ninety-seven point nine percent of what you talk is reckless and stupid. Uh, nah, that's too much. No, no, that's too much. That's factual. Right, let's that's you know what? Let's talk about that. That's, that's, that's a good conversation to have, right there. Let's talk about that. Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, you put talk that, stupid for no crazy. reason. Like you have no like. You just like, bro. Nothing defeats that day we were having. Um, what were we eating at French place? Macaroons. Uh, and you uh, were macaroons? yeah, we were macaroons, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know where you go, yo? How funny would it be if we rob a bank? And we show up, and we just tell people, put your hands up and get naked. Nah, I said, I said, I said this, and you gotta film me on this one, everyone. If you're listening right now, you say this long to the podcast. First of all, I want to congratulate you. You a real motherfucking writer. You're you know real. what I'm saying? Or I feel bad for you because I miss you at work doing nothing. Yeah, you must be really bored. Everybody just died, or like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but the point I said, imagine this. Imagine if, imagine if you're at the store, right? Dun, We're dun, eating dun, macaroons. Dun. 
sitting down having a great time right and i said i look over to chris and fatima right and i look at them and they're enjoying they're enjoying their macaroons or ice cream and i go yo imagine if somebody just came in here right now with a shotgun cocked it boom shot the roof up and said everybody in this bitch get naked get naked i said what would you motherfuckers do what did you say chris if you remember first of all i said that no no i i said that i would rather die because i'll be like yeah, i'm cold can i at least give the briefs like you know let me tell you something i'm getting i'm getting the woody so fast <laughs> I, I got blue chew in my motherfucking pocket for this reason you know what my fear would be is that like normally i haven't really been in the scenarios that i'm like yo my life is at, that by the times my life i've been at risk i've reacted in ways that i was like yo i have really good reflexes at least i thought my life was a reef right uh but if my life was really a risk you know what if what if because i don't i don't know you don't know until you're there what if i have to be like in tears begging for my life without briefs and just like naked i can't do that i'd rather die uh, as long as you gotta be hard that's, that's number one. You got to be hard. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. tell you why. I'm gonna as soon as the shotgun went up, I was hard already. You got to have some blue chew. I'm going to tell you why. If you're hard, no man will ever touch you or try <laughs> to put his hands on you. Let me say, if somebody tries to fight you while you have a boner, that guy likes you. First that guy trying to get that dick. First of all, first of all you're going to be like, you too. And you're like, so. Like, yo, I mean, because look, realistically, I'm not getting the no store cameras are there. They're going to catch... I mean, all this shit's going to come out on YouTube. You get me? Like, you want to look the best you can. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just even, even if you don't got it like that, it's okay. You just want to be... You, you know what I'm saying? You want to show out the best you can. Like, again, there's guys that don't have great fashion sense. But, you know what I'm saying? They try their best. You know what I'm saying? They go home. They stick their hair back. You know what I'm saying? They put on that, that great polo that they've been saving for a while with the big pony on the side. You know what I'm saying? They try to put on the... True they religion on, pants? Yeah, they try to put on the true religions Black on. Black Timberlands? You know what I'm saying? And, it's not fresh, but to them they look fresh. With you know a Gucci belt, and that, that's all. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? They trying to look their best, and, and that's the best they can look. And when you're hard, you might not be that great. You know what I'm saying? You might not be nine, eight inches out here. Figure out how that will happen when you're getting robbed. Oh well, that's easy. You got some blue chew in your pocket. <laughs> that boy already swallowed it. By the that's time blue chew in your pocket. Also, oh, wait, you hear the shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First I reaction. Mean, yeah, the, first thing you gotta do is you, you, gotta, you gotta chew it up because you know you're not gonna get naked immediately. You know <laughs> when you get naked, you are gonna be slow. You are gonna be shaking. You are gonna be crying. You might you might freeze up for like a minute or two. Like yo, what the fuck is going on? Is this real? <laughs> What's the reaction? The adrenaline kicks in. Yeah, yeah like, hard. like that shit might not be real. Like you might be like, I feel like if that shit happens, you might be like, this shit is not happening right now. Like, I'm really about to get my ass naked. Cause to be honest with you, if I was to rob somebody, I wouldn't want to steal it. I just want everybody to get naked. <laughs> That like real shit. That should be the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. So I just, just see people panicking. Oh shit! Hurry the fuck up! Go take your pants off. They boxes off. The girls trying to take their bra off. They can't. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard. It's like that should be funny to me, bro. I'll be like, yo, everybody need to get butt ass. Did you, naked. Did you ever see what? Black Mirror? Uh-huh. You remember the first episode of the pig? Oh, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. That's the first episode the ever, that he has to fuck a pig. He's the he's the governor. No. Nah. Nah. That they abduct the, the president's daughter or some shit. Yeah, and they're like, if you don't do what they say, they'll kill her. This nigga had to fuck a pig. To let her, bro, you gotta watch this. It's yeah. just hilarious. Bro, I feel like George would be like, the, the, girl, like, the girl can't even hook her bra. She's so nervous. He'll be like, while he's holding the shotgun, don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> that's, I feel like that's how you are. She's just trying to see some titties. Huh? Oh, man. Y'all stupid. All right, man. Let, let's get into some real topics here real quick. Uh, so we kind of talk about this and end this because uh, this is this run-ons right now at this point. Okay, for like mass shootings right, and all of this stuff. You know, people that are advocating, actually doing something about it, protesting or whatever. I could, I could see your point a little bit more, right? But the people that are just like, oh, my God, you know, school shooting happened. That's fucked up, this and that. But what do you what do you do after that? You don't really care. You know what I mean? You care that, yeah, sure, like, yo, that shit happened. It's fucked up. I wouldn't want that to happen to my kid. But you kind of just move on and you kind of go on about your life and you don't really care, right? So I think it's like, it becomes like a very serious thing when like a lot of people are like, this outrage, like, you know, and you don't make it funny. You know I mean, if you, if you make something funny, most people don't really care. They get me, but if you make it, if you don't make it funny and you're already talking about this topic, nah, you're going to have an issue. You know what I mean? Because now people are looking at you like, yo, what the fuck are you talking about, you asshole? You know what I mean? So I think the thing here is that you got to make it funny. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, all you're going to really be doing is offending people. And of course, then you're going to get canceled for sure. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I mean, his joke, the problem was that he said, he said, uh, part of it was a shooting, 
Party said, these kids now get to speak in front of everybody and think that, you know, their voices matter because they got shot at. Essentially what he was saying. So that was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, in, in that in that uh, case, yeah, that's that's definitely uh, not funny. <laughs> that's not funny at all. I found that funny. You did? Yeah, that's funny. Did, oh, so, no, I'm saying you just oh. that shit was hilarious to me. Really? That shit was funny. All right, tell me what this is. I want because I, I saw the I see those kids, the, the kids that happen here. They 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 fucking professionals now for some fucking reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get shot at every fucking weekend. Yeah. I've got well, you, you don't get shot at. I'm every saying weekend. like I've gotten shot when I was little. Like fuck, I didn't do all this extra shit. It's okay. It you got shot when you were little in the parks. You got shot? They shot at the park, so you get your ass shot at. You, wait, you been at the park while there's been a shootout? So yes. there's bullets bouncing and you have to hit the ground? Yes. For real? Let's talk about this. Hold the no, fuck on. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about that. That's fucking interesting right now. Okay, so tell me, run this story fucking down. I never heard this when story. My park, when I was young, the okay. park right in front of my school, my in front of my house was Aladdin King Park. So there used to be a lot of drive-bys. So mm-hmm. at a point, there was drive-bys like every few days. And there's kids that used to, I remember there was a kid that actually died because he got hit by one of those bullets. I don't fucking know. But so I mean, they just used to shoot and not hit anybody? Well, they have terrible... Thugs have the worst thing. They shoot sideways. You feel me? Do they really? <laughs> Do they really? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't see nobody like, really shoot a gun like if they intend on killing somebody. But I don't I don't think no one shoot, shoots like this. Like That's a, that's a thing. I'm not a lot of you. I'm a bureau with you. That's a thing. That might be a thing. I don't, I've never seen nobody... I've, I've never been in that situation. I have no clue like how... They only I'm, shoot good if you're really close. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be like this. I just, I just feel like it's, it's just, you know, like it's not ergonomic. Like, you just doesn't feel comfortable. Okay, so what happened? Okay, so walk, walk me through this day. So how, how did this just happen? Just playing basketball and they just started shooting. So you're playing, okay, so you're playing basketball. Yeah, you're playing yeah. three on three. Yeah. Okay. No, right? No, you, you get balled up, fuck you. <laughs> okay, so wait, you're playing three on three. Um, You're probably, are you winning or are you losing? I'm like 10. That's a losing. I'm like 10 years old. I'm not losing. Fuck you. I'm not losing. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely losing. Okay, okay, okay. So you're 10 years old. You're playing ball three on three. And what happened? It's a sunny day. Bro, Sunny day. I'm 10. I don't know. I have terrible memory. If you say I have terrible memory, imagine now. Okay, so now. I don't know that this happened. So let me, so let me get this right. Basically, it's a whole lot. No, 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 no. So are you admitting to you having terrible memory and we didn't see a so-called person in a... In city place. No, this this is recent. This, this is was recent. Bro, what was this? Last time we went. This is okay. You 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 know what? Let's I'm go back to this you, conversation, bro. That what, what you just said. Oh, that we just recently. This was. Recent. I, we're gonna visit that in a little bit. Let's talk about this real quick. So okay, so you're you're playing ball three on three. Yes, right. And there's Latin kings in the park. They're chilling in the park. So smoke. what are, what are they doing? Typical thug shit, smoking weed and playing basketball. I don't know. That's I'm that's a typical anybody drugs. shit. I don't know. Everybody does you know, that. They sell drugs at the park when you're little. Okay. All right. So they're selling drugs. They're chilling at the park, playing basketball. Is that what we're doing now? Uh, George is a fucking detective. He wants every all the details. I, no, no. First, I just want to know how how this day went. Like, how, how did you deal with this? That's what I want to know. So, okay. So you're a kid. You're ten years old, right? Yeah, they yeah. start shooting at the park. So bullets start bouncing on the ground, or or no, what happens? They're fucking hitting trees. Okay. There's a fence. Okay. Right, I'm playing basketball. Okay. The thugs are like on the right, like on the fall on the last court on the right side. And okay. I'm like in the first court, like right by the like I could run. You feel me? Like right into the like the park and stuff. That's pretty much it. I just started running towards the like. There's like a little barrier. So you didn't hit the ground. You started running. Yeah. Because the direction Wha- of the bullets weren't aimed at me. They were aimed the uh, far right. Why side. would you not hit the ground? That wasn't your instinct to hit the ground. Because if. I'm 10, I'm fucking thick. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. Okay, damn, that's I'm, crazy. I'm a, okay. I'm a logical How was this scenario for you now? You said you were at Curtis Park? Yeah, it was um, It was at Curtis and some dudes. That was back in the days when Curtis still had fences. <laughs> now Curtis, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we were at Curtis and you could hear some dudes. We were in the last court, actually. You could hear some dudes in the first court started arguing. But it's like, I'm going to be right back. Because and then you hear a shot go up Right? And at that point, no one even questioned. No one even looked. Everybody took off. I know the cops eventually came. The dude just shot up and they shot in the air to scare people. Uh, but it was like, yo, I was like, yo, I'm good. Okay, so it wasn't like a real shootout. It wasn't... I'm going to you. You can get the game, bro. Fuck. Don't shoot me. <laughs> You're the best player ever. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna wrap this up I feel like we're getting nowhere in these conversations. We're gonna get a shoot up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, man. You know, Yo, I think we've done enough talking, man. This is a lot, man. Hey, listen, man. If you listen to this podcast today. 
Yeah, man. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> hey, look. If you listen to this podcast, man, and um, you got anything out of this, um, let me say, if you listen to this podcast and you got anything out of this, you got a great mind. We got to have you on this you, podcast. You're digging for gold. For sure. Because you definitely had to dig hard. For sure. Um, you know, this is I'm Down. Uh, we appreciate you guys for watching. If you watch this podcast and you felt like, you know, we were a bunch of dumbasses just talking shit. If you felt like, you know, you watched this shit and you actually learned something. If you're watching this shit right now and we made you feel like you want to do <laughs> something. <laughs> Then you came to the motherfucking right spot because that's what we're trying to do. We want you to do mm-hmm. what it do. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm um, down's all mm-hmm. about. So we'll see y'all next time on next episode. Till next time, peace.